Hello guys, uh, welcome to another video today. So, in today's video, I am basically going to take you through uh, how I created uh, this Python ticking that dashboard. Uh, so, uh, this dashboard you are seeing here was created using Python ticking that. So, uh, another thing, one interesting thing about this dashboard is that uh, this is not just a dashboard. This it comes with uh, a login UI and also sign up UI. So uh, after taking you through a dashboard, uh, we are also going to uh, I'm also going to walk you through the login UI as well and the sign up UI. So. The dashboard includes a login form and a sign up form, basically. So I'll take you through how this works and also take you through the login and the sign up. So uh, now if you look at this dashboard, okay. Now if you look at the side here, uh, the sidebar, we have some buttons, Brian. And you can see these buttons are all clickable. They are clickable. You can see I'm clicking them, which is they are working. So the one thing about this project is that um, it's a template. Now I created this just a template. So I've not linked like multiple pages to it where maybe you click on dashboard, maybe click on users. You see the page pop up. Or users maybe stock measure products manage. So actually, before we we continue now, this project did as well. I'm actually I was actually trying to work on a tutorial video for you guys. I wanted to do a and a, a software for you guys with this uh, dashboard. Okay, so uh, I think I did. A video before uh on um taking down on my channel okay so i realized uh, a lot of people were asking questions about uh well uh requesting that i should link the project to uh, my sql exam okay so uh now um I'm going to ask ask you to uh, drop a comment in the section as to what the uh, dashboard, sorry, as to what database I should name this project to. So uh, I was I was actually going to make a full video on how I created this with the uh, full step. I'm actually going to make this a functional app, but uh I would like to also I wanted to find out from you guys what does uh, sorry what I keep saying that but what database you would like me to do the project on. So initially I wanted to do this project on uh all the that all the database. I wanted to link it to a SQLite database, uh MySQL database and also the ZAMP MySQL. But it's going to be a whole lot of work to do. So uh, now I'm actually going to give you the three options. So I have, we have SQLite 3, we have MySQL, then also the uh, PHP MySQL. So these three, so uh, whichever one you want me to do the project on, can you drop the comment in the description on which of these database, MySQL, PHP, MySQL and also SQLite 3. Which of these database should I use for the project? So I will make a step by step video on how I created this and also step by step video on how we link this to a database and um, make it a functional app. So uh, I think I'm doing a lot of talking. So let's quickly get into this. So now, um, Looking at this dashboard now, you can see like these buttons are 
functioning well. They are working. I can click on them and they are working. Now here we also have the search area here. So a user can also search anything. In case you want to search something, a user can also search. Probably want to search there. So as again, uh, because it's not functional, but you can see the search engine is working. Just that I've not linked it to any functionality. So it's also in there. And also another thing about this dashboard is also uh, if you look at this chart here, now you realize that this this is not just an image that I added to. This chart is not just an image that I added to the dashboard. These are real charts. So what am I saying that? So for example, let me get to the code. So uh, let's say, let me launch this again. Now let's say I want to, let me try to change some, let me do some customization. Then you see, so for example, I want to change the heading of this from bar charts to let's say, let me go bar chart, bar chart, bar chart, bar chart. So, okay, now I have bar chart here. So for example, let's say I want to change the title of this bar chart so I can say something like maybe let's say, let's say this is, my bar chat okay so i'll say this so now if i run this now you can see at the top here this changes to this my bar chat this is what i just did or let's say for example maybe i can retain the color of this to let's say one is low eight c f s i send this f f save so if I launch this, you can see the color of from this has just changed as well. So you can see here we have apples, oranges, and stuff. So if you can see these are all data that I actually did. You can see apple is 10, orange is 15, banana. That's actually what is uh, protected on the back chart. So for now, I just have to use the raw data because I've not linked it to any data. But in the future, if we create this, we link this to, we've created a real application. Maybe uh, this this dashboard is basically for stock management. So let's say we have stocks that want to display maybe some data of that stock from the database onto the chat. So we are basically going to be using the uh, database data display on the chat. But right now, because I've not linked it to a name with database, uh, I just uh, forged this. So this is actually what I just plotted on the um, chat. Building. So this is, uh, just by the way, just want you to know that this is actually real charts that I uh, actually linked. Yeah, so same as this cumulative chart and also the by chat as well as this is also just a label once again because I've not linked it to any database yet so which we'll do in the future so now let's say uh for example this label I can change it to maybe zero let's say one take three four five six so I just add zero six of them so you can see I just have what I did there so as again, here, if you link this to your database, if whatever you want to display, you just want to display the label back. I just put the uh, in the label there. So it does it. Um, so that's just by the way. So uh, as you can see, this is this nice uh, dashboard you are seeing is actually by Python Tiginta. Yes. So. Uh, I see it's very functional, nice looking, and yeah, and modern. It looks modern as well. I mean, if you have this in your app, no one is actually going to think that this is even quite a ticking that. So, yeah, that's I'm really excited to actually make a project for you guys on this. So, uh, let's get to the login and also the sign up, which uh, we also look good. So, uh, let me close this. So, now, 
okay, okay, let's start with the login first. So if I also launch my login UI, boom. Also beautiful, you can see like good looking. I mean, uh, and no, I mean, if actually somebody actually look at this, I don't think the person is, is actually going to think in a million years that this is actually made with Python taking that. So, yeah, that's 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 the so this is a login UI. Once again, this is not linked to any database. So, once again, uh, let me, I'm also reminding you that okay, you have to actually tell me the database, I have to make the project for this one. Okay, uh, if. I, I don't mind doing this project with different database as well. Maybe I can do it with the SQLite, do it again with uh, MySQL, also do it again with PHP. I don't mind. I just I feel like it's going to be a whole lot. I don't want to do a video that nobody is actually going to be interested in. So I want to make sure I'm actually recording, taking my time to actually record a video that people are really interested in. So that's why I'm actually showing you this. Initially, I would have uploaded this with the full tutorial. But I'm just showing you this first because I wanted to actually get uh, your request when the database you requested. So I actually make a video on it. So you can see this is an entry here working perfectly. I can enter my username, password. Uh, this login button once again this is not fun it's just a template so working perfectly we have the account so i also show you the sign up form. so for example if you are linking this we are working on this as a project we will link the sign up page to this forgot password page so the user actually clicks on the sign up this is actually going to pop up the sign up page for the user the user click on forgot password it's going to pop up the forgot password page for the user. So uh that that's that's it. So you can see this is also functional. Everything was perfectly online, beautiful UI made with Python Tikinta. So uh yeah. Let's 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 uh let's get to the uh, I think I'm talking too much, so let me quickly match. Let's get to the sign up form as well. So I'm also going to launch my sign up. Yeah. Also nicely done. It's in the account. So you the user on enter full name. Enter full name. Uh you want to enter username. Uh you want to enter your password. It's, it's, the, it's also provided. Then sign up. You actually send that to you or whatever. If you, if you already have an account, already have an already have account. So you can also click login. So this will also load your login page for you as well. If you link your login page to this, so that's it. This is also like also uh, very functional. So we are also going to look at the. Uh, Forgot password, so let me close this. So you can see this is also where mine sitting down. So I'm also going to close this. So we go to the forgot password. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I think it should be. Okay, this is create account login. Oh, I, okay, okay. I think uh, I may have. I think the forgot password may have slipped my mind. I actually forgot to actually work on the forgot password. So um, it doesn't matter. I mean, forgot password is not that much of a stress. I mean, when only actually doing the full video, I'm actually doing the full video, you actually will do the forgot password. So I actually, I think it slipped my mind. I forgot. So I thought, I thought I had the forgot password in my UI. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, I mean this 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 so so far we have the dashboard. So you can see we have the dashboard. Nice. We see welcome admin. Yeah, I mean you can even do more to this. Maybe I'm going to put some user icon here 
or whatever can do more if you want to do with this they add the login nicely done yeah but also i'm the sign up so i think basically what is missing now is the forward password but it doesn't matter we we'll work on it later so uh i'm actually going to do a full video on this on the, how we will create the professional application with this yes actually well, that's what we'll do but first for me to go ahead and do that video i would like to know your requests what database you prefer i use for this picture so i'll wait for your comments then from there i'm going to make a full video on this for you guys or for you guys and uh that's uh, I appreciate the the love and support and uh, the the uh, encouragement and all all, all the comments. Uh, I appreciate all guys. So thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to drop your comment, like uh, suggest the database you requested, and also like this video. You can also share it for other people to also make contribution to it so thank you guys i love you guys so much thank you guys uh yeah i've been talking a lot sorry i've been talking plenty so yeah let's ignore my talking so uh see you in the next 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 video guys see you in the next video thank you guys bye